Alright, instead of... Wandering around everywhere, I want to make sure I get the Chorus Den and get this convo going. We can explore everything here later. I'm just going to fuzzily derg. I think I remember Chorus Den's through here. No, no, that's that's back to the CSEC Academy. Um, I, I don't remember. Hold on. Presidium Flux, Lower Markets, Lower Wards. I feel like Lower Wards is where... Wait, hold on. I don't think I can use the transit to go to it, but... Oh hey, Shad Questy. I'm Emily Wong. Oh hey, I'm, I'm glad I actually got here for you. Well, here on the Citadel. not quite there yet. Could I have a moment of your time? Of course. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Well, uh, bringing this kind of thing to light... Um, feels like it's right, like, like Pfeiffer would definitely have it be known to the public. And if she's going to do exactly that, then, I mean, heck, if she, if, if this kind of thing will help the people know what to watch out for, maybe help other criminals get caught, or gets, you know, anything like that, that she sees, she sees no reason not to disclose it to a, um, a journalist. So, yeah, consider it done. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Cool. And of course there's organized crime, because this is a hugely populated area. Why wouldn't there be organized crime? Gosh darn it, humanity. You need to get your shiznit under control, humanity. Why does this always happen in populated areas? Anyway, um... Okay, uh... I'm trying to find where the to get the Encora's Den, and I kind of want to at least check the next one I literally pass by the next rapid transit. I think I remember, yeah, there's one right there. Let's see if I can just go to Cora's Den this way, because I'm, I'm lost as, right now. Uh, uh, yeah, I can just literally just Cora's Den. Perfect. Wonderful. Lovely. Beautiful. Sexy. Yeah, so here we go, here we are. I, I don't know how exactly to get That's here, because this place is honestly a maze. It, it's hard for it not to confuse me, however... Yeah, I remember that even on the mode I'm on, like, easiest mode, basically. Kinda hard for me. There we go. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Hello! Goodbye! Oh boy. Negative contacts, Commander. I wasn't trying to talk to you, Ashley. That was an interesting bug. Negative contacts, Commander, is always a thing they say when you're trying to talk to them in combat. Too many lights, too much noise. I feel that. What about you, Ashley? Out of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? Pretty dang, I guess. <laughs> All right, so it's time to go into a club. Damn. Uh, <clears throat> like Seth. Ship's gonna stay here for a while. Look at uh, the view. It's a nice view. Talk about the lights and everything, not not the butt. Okay, yeah, the butt. The butt is what she's looking for. Yup, and what I'm looking for. This butt right here. It's a pretty nice blue butt right there. Okay, we're done here. No, we're not. We're actually really not done here at all. She's gonna stay here for a few hours. And cue SpongeBob title card. Literally just gonna cut that out, just put three hours later. And then she's sitting forward just like this. I need this to happen. Yep, still here. Join the view. Then another one. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Alright, she's finally done. Um, yep. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the. Uh... Agreed. And I imagine Ashley made similar comments to Shepard of the last six hours. <laughs> and now it's irrefutable that Shepard's gay, except it'll still come up later with Caden, because Caden's weird. Uh, wait, what? And we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women shaking their asses on a stage. 
Not just men though, you saw you saw shippers for the last six hours doing the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. I got business here, but not with you. Okay, fine, Krogan. I feel that so hard. Commander. I'm very hard, I mean what? What do you want? I want you to explain what the captain with Shaira. I'm here on Shaira's behalf. The lies are hurting her. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. That I've should have been said differently. Things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. You're fucking pathetic, dude. She really would be like this. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. <laughs> All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. I'm not leaving. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. <laughs> I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am, a tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. No, you won't, because I'm the protagonist, and I have the power to convince everyone to do everything. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. See, let's do what I told you. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Finally. That's what she's thinking, but she's gonna be a little... I... Okay, let's be fair here. I just want to say the top thing, because I don't want to be a dick. I don't want to be a dick to the level Pfeiffer would probably be a dick right now. It's weird, because I could be so much meaner writing a character in a story, and people I know will it, like that have read this stuff will attest to that than I can when I'm playing a game and trying to roleplay a character. Or like when I'm doing something like d and I can't be as mean. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right, I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower, too. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Or at least it's it's harder to separate. But I feel like at times I have been able to be as mean. But anyway, and maybe in the future it will be easier. But it's interesting. I can just separate myself a lot easier with characters on a page rather than. If I'm, you know, if my voice is deciding what they're happening, it, it's it's harder. It's interesting. Interesting psychology behind that. Uh, depends on what it is, because that sounds pretty shady, especially for a general to say. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Yep, and, he, and we met Why him. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Mm -hmm. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. And how do we do that? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elkhorn. Alrighty. Sees no reason not to continue cleaning up his fucking mess, because he gave her the means. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. How do you imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman? <laughs> That's because you don't understand women. <laughs> He really doesn't, though. You'll see later. And also, there's another Back reason off, for her Rex. being so this happy to help us. This will also help Shaira, her. and she'll like that. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. <laughs> this is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. Mm -hmm. The story is just beginning. <laughs> out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. 
We'll get caught in the middle later. Well, it'll be a little bit more complicated than that. <laughs> uh, hello, Hardy. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier gift oh my looks gosh. real good on that body of yours. Now, she's not gay yet, but that's all over the line. Just sweet right. little ass down beside old Hardy. Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. You're fucking disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. <laughs> you trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years of CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Princess anchors the fuck out of her so hard. Any kind of cutesy title like that. Like, can't you see I'm actually a badass? <laughs> like, that, that's, that's one way to say it, but her actual thought line is less douchey than that, but you know what I mean. Uh, do do do. I, she just cut straight to the chase. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Yep. We're bastards still trying to bring Saren down. Eh? Yep. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my goddamn time. She would not even be listening to a word this man say. If, if he, if, especially if he's trying to, you know, make her doubt her captain, who I don't think she really has any reason to doubt. And even if she had reason to doubt, she'd definitely be less inclined to doubt him, considering she wants to keep moving up the ladder. She already got fucked out of the Spectre thing, which would have been a huge, like, leap farther than any other human's ever gone. However, uh, you know... Although, you know, that's gonna change, uh, spoilers, but, yeah, like, she has no reason to listen to what this fucker has to say. Like, especially because she really just wants to get away from him right this second, so, yeah. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. <laughs> but it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. What? What? When? Um. Well, that's that's not why. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Doctor Michelle's office. Hmm. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Must have heard he was going back there. All right. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Yeah. Good. Go. <laughs> Sure, whatever. Alright, cool. So, we're done here. Um, Sherry will, be, Sherry will be happy with what we have to say. She'll be very happy indeed. And, uh... If y'all know where I'm going with this, y'all know where I'm going with this. If you don't, let's just say I've been joking about it, but the true moment that Pfeiffer definitely turns gay for sorry is coming soon. <laughs> coming. Maybe it's not true. Harkin's <laughs> an ass. But he's just <laughs> messing with our heads. Except, it would make a lot more sense for her to go straight for a beeline to Garrus right now. And I remember exactly how to get there from here. I do believe. I do believe that if you literally just... Go through this little passageway right here. You'll come out in the wards and then Dr. Michelle's office is pretty close. Let me just see if I if my memory is finally wor working for me here, because I got confuzzled last time I played. Like ultra Durgany confuzzlement. Nine thousand. That that is a term now. I'm sticking to it. Um I wonder if you, you actually no, yeah, yeah, go go through here and I do believe you literally just like go is it down or around? I, I'm thinking like it's over here. On this top, I believe this is the door right here. I think so. Yeah. Preemptively, because I know what's coming. Tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. No, also, I bet she would have heard this smart. happening Keep outside, even though up. it doesn't uh, sound like go. it from the outside. Although I don't think you actually Over have there. your weapon. Yeah, you. Yeah, okay. It shows you drawing, but I would. It would make sense that there would be enough noise carrying from that confrontation on the outside. Of the room. Like, there's no way that would be, right? So that you know. And uh, but I just really drew it because I, as a player, knew what was coming. There's going to be a firefight in here. 
Hello! I like playing on easy, so that I could just do this. Okay. Not really, because I can still get fucked, but thankfully, I would have died there on any other difficulty. Like, this game's unforgiving, man. Um, more so than 2 and 3. Well, I don't know about 2, but I'm... I don't know. I just like playing on easy in these games. I'm not wonderful at them to begin with, and then there's the fact that, uh... uh I don't know, Bright, my brain decided not to function. Either who? Did I just say either who? Anyway, let's go Perfect timing, Shepard. <laughs> Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. That was a big risk. Like, she'd be pretty pissed at this, uh, kind of thing happening in a med clinic. Like, you know, she joined in without hesitation because those guys needed to die before Michelle did. But any of those guys could have shot Michelle during that whole time. And Garrus opened fire first. I think. I, yeah, I think he did. So she'd be pissed. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. You can protect you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. And somehow I could also she tell she was fucking awesome. Broker. She wanted to trade information <laughs> in Tally. exchange for a safe place to hide. We will meet Tally very soon, and I love her, and I want to hug her for seven eternities. She's one of my favorites. And she's going to become one of Shepard's best friends throughout this. Like, I'd imagine that Pfeiffer and, and her would get along very, very well. Let's see... And a few other characters that we'll see later. Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence, perhaps? She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren, or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Alrighty, let's do it. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Alright, guys, take this moment. Guys and gals, take this moment. Guys, gals, and in-betweens. <laughs> take this moment to, um... <clears throat> to say goodbye to Kate and Ashley, because we're not going to be using them after we get both of these dudes for the rest of the game. Alright. Uh, we could use them. The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex good. in for a little talk. Mm. If you hurry, you can catch good, him at good, the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Alrighty. Garrus. Hmm. I'll do Garrus and Caden just because I don't really like Ashley's attitude at all. Alrighty. Oh, by the way, can, does Michelle say anything else? I never properly oh. thanked you for saving me from Feast Spugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I've been home. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Uh, nope. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. It was nice talking to her as well, but I feel like in this situation she wouldn't ask after stuff like this, so... Yep. She ain't gonna. Like, she needs to get the over to fist. Like, now, you know, there's a lot of these situations in games where it's narratively pre presented as a time-sensitive issue. But you can wait all the hours and days and years in the world in-game. 
before you do those things regardless, but it's just way more immersive to just go do the thing. Uh, let's just go take the transit over to Korra's Den. Where's the nearest one? I think I remember... I think I might have, like, gone all the way away. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a new one. I believe that there is a Destiny Ascension. Oh, wow. I don't know if I ever really just stopped and took in the view like this. Matriarch Ladanya. You met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. Huh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. <laughs> true. Very true. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of the Asari fleet combined. Wow, and a very blinding Hopefully tail light? What is that exactly? Exact? Or is that the sun, or... Is that a star? I think that's a star. It was blocking the starlight for a while. I do believe that is a star glaring directly down at us. Though don't quote me. There's actually some really great... Now, you can tell the datedness of this game because there would be more detailed backgrounds in later games, for sure, because this is a 2008 game, don't forget. But I think if you don't really take time to look at the clear 2D-ness of that, it's really darn impressive for the year. I'd say that, honestly, this is one of the older games. I don't think it needs a graphical upgrade, but I'm sure one would be nice to have. And either way... Um, I mean, I'm sure I would love one, um, but that all depends on EA. Now, apparently Mass Effect 5 is in development, and you know what, I'm probably still gonna get on it, uh, like I did Andromeda, and we'll see what happens. We will indeed see what happens. So let's go, go through the transit right now. Ugh. Please choose a Citadel Rapid Transit destination. Wards locations, Chorus Den. Alrighty, friends. Firefight time. Like, she'd also go in guns blazing just in freaking case, cause I mean. Looks like it shut down. Oh wait! Did we Oh no! We didn't get Rex first, did we? We can't go anywhere, can we? Ah, uh, unless wait. Is he already here? I feel like he's already here. Do we get him or not? First, I don't remember. I do not. Hold on. Can I? One's my last save. Okay, look. Hold on. I don't know when this is, but I think I should redo this. Cause I think you're supposed to have Rex. You can have Rex in the party. Threats and fists far. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? <laughs> I want you to try. <laughs> I'd like to see any human try arresting that. Because <laughs> look at Go him. Look on. how huge. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Yes, my name is Shepard, and I'm here from the future because the person that is editing this video cut it so that we were here instead of in front of Korra's Den to save time for y'all. So wow, hello friends, we're finally getting Rex because I remembered, and I thank god that last save was before the shit went down, so... My name's Shepard. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. I love We're both Rex's voice actor. Shepherd. It's very, very convincing. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. Very good. I'd say he's one of the Fist best voice actors. Coming. We'll have a better chance Same if we with all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. And... Bye, Caden! Alrighty, let's go, friends. Back to Korra's Den. Now, let us go face our foe at Korra's Den. That was mildly poetic. It felt good, man, to say that.
crow. A bit suspicious, and she's using the assault rifle because it's going to be Although, she's not using the assault rifle to use it. I need to be more careful than I've been being because even on this difficulty, it's just like, it, like according to the game, not even really a difficulty. This is easy mode, like, easy, easy mode. Like, it's still not. Hard to get yourself into the really You still can't like rush in and shit, which I, I kinda like. But I also kinda would rather be able to just do just not play the game and just be able to just rush through. Cause sometimes I just want the story just the story and the atmosphere, you know. Right there, don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. <laughs> and she's a little done Would've right now. quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. What the hell's the difference? The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. <sighs> Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Son of a fucking bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. <laughs> Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it so if you, you hurry. So you did know where she was, you fucking asshole. And there he goes. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Well, I mean, he did say he was going to kill him earlier, so honestly, at this point, don't give a lot of people died scared. because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. The kind of people that just callously end lives deserve their own there medicine. That's that's how she thinks. Right Sometimes they have their stuff for sale. Loot! Alright, let's go. No, 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 yay, timed mission. And that yay is a slightly sarcastic yay, but, you know. She's just gonna make sure she sells whatever the hell. There she is. Did you bring it? 
Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the He's evidence? Dead. No way. The deal's off. I love Turian markings, by the way. I mean, Turian, I think, in the whole game series, like, they seem to just make sure to go out of their way to have really unique markings on each one. I wonder if that's hereditary or it's literally just like random. It's really interesting. In some way, they're like genetically random. Like, it's pretty cool, man. But hereditary, I mean, like, the same kinds of markings could pass on the same kinds of families. Or I wonder if a lot of them were tattoos. I maybe? knew I couldn't trust him. You okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? It's the Alliance. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this. Anyway. That triumphant sound effect feels a little out of place, especially as loud as it is. But hey. Not it's like the, hey, we finished the mission Shepard. thing thing. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know? <laughs> Who is this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Go on. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought Sarin's us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We've got him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. Oh, uh, yep. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. Yeah, use her name, Rex. Come on. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Heck yeah, motherfucker. I'll take all the help I can get. <laughs> Thanks. You won't regret this. I know I won't, because you're fucking awesome. Anderson and you. I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Or I could go and venture down to go have sex with a, an Asari woman. Or an, an Asari, I guess, because woman would be redundant in their case. Uh, 
Doob doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo. I gotta I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it, friends. Friends and friendettes. Friendo friendorinos. Oh no. Tech game crashle. We uh, uh